So there's a really cool show where comedians do surprise roasts of your friends on Zoom, a pretty unique way to get some much needed laughs in during the pandemic. You got an operation done uh, to stop yourself sweating. You must have been sweating loads if you paid for that before you paid to fix your face. Brooke is a spokesperson for a blog called Let's Talk Sugar, which is strange considering she's vanilla as <laughs> My self-esteem has been doing pretty well lately, so I asked them to roast me so I could experience it firsthand. He said, oh, you know what? I don't resemble any celebrities. I don't resemble any. Oh, Real no. Really, Rob? Then who this, boo? Oh, oh, oh you got me. <laughs> Rob Michelson is an on-air host at Boston's NBC10 and is constantly recognized as every person who's ever worked at Best Buy's Geek Squad. <laughs> Your favorite hobbies are video games, anime, manga, board uh, games, Reddit, uh, and beer. However, your biggest fear is boredom? Right. No, your biggest hobby is boredom, okay? <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm being dramatic. It was actually a blast and very humbling. French Roast with Frankie French and Stephen Campbell has audience members submit their friends' social media information, embarrassing stories, then professional comedians go to town on them in front of a live online audience. Frankie, a Los Angeles-based comedian who won this year's stand-up NBC competition, brings a lot of heat to the roasts, but also a lot of love for the roastees. The reason it's called French Roast, obviously it's a play on my name, right? Um, but it's also a little different of a twist on a roast. So typically with a roast, the person that you're roasting knows that it's happening. They're expecting it. It's usually to kind of commemorate a moment in time or an event or what was something kind of significant in that person's life. And it's always done out of love. Does your friend have any kinks, drunken social media posts or embarrassing photos? Well, everything's on the table. Rob was asked to share an embarrassing story about himself, which he replied, that's tough because I do want to keep my job. The jokes are delightfully brutal, and the comics who are pulled in from all over are not safe from the heat. They can also be targets during the show. Everything's on the table. I, my, my mother passed away 10 years ago um, from complications with HIV, and that's on the table. If you go below the belt and it's not funny, that's more offensive. Even if you told like a not so offensive joke and it's just not funny, that's more offensive than telling an offensive joke that's hilarious. With the recent protests, they've even devoted part of their show to Roasting America and donating proceeds to groups that are fighting for social justice. How can you be an ally? Here are some of the basics. Listen, learn, and do better. Addressing your white privilege is like finding out that Santa is real, right? <laughs> and he's gonna keep giving you gifts. <laughs> but he's been skipping the black neighborhoods. <laughs> and you wanna address the racial injustice and the injustice, but also you wanna keep your Xbox. Steven, the co-host and a comedian himself, produces the show through his Brooklyn-based company, U Street, which had to transition from organizing comedy shows and fundraising events to the virtual space after the pandemic hit. Obviously, producing shows in video conference rooms is a little bit different from performing in front of a crowd in person. I write a joke, I go on stage, say it three different times to three different audiences. They laughed here, didn't laugh here, didn't laugh here, so let's write it accordingly. A lot of Zoom, a lot of people are on mute, so you're kind of telling some of these jokes into a vacuum. You're not ever going to get the feeling of killing in a room, right? Like there's nothing that can replicate hundreds of people in a room laughing and you just uh, get killing. Steven says that the online roasts have been a big hit with the audiences so far, and it's giving people a new kind of entertainment to look forward to. It was quickly, people were like, thank you so much, this is the best night of the week, I was having such a week. I've gone through everything on Netflix. There is no live anything. So um, people really took a liking to it and there has been a little bit of a community built around it. You can catch French Roast Live every Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Visit ustreak.com for more information on tickets and how you can submit your friends to be roasted. But seriously, it's, it's fantastic, loving it. And as for me, I'm gonna continue to apply aloe vera to these burns. Oof. Ah. Ah. Okay, my, my arms are soaked. I need a towel.